the matter? You can't get it off the ground? What's the matter, huh? Need some help? Good boy. Wow, look at there. You did it. <laughs> you did it. You good doggy. Yeah. You good doggy. Okay. Ooh, quite a bit warmer. Beginning temperature. 27 degrees. 27 degrees. Quite a bit warmer than yesterday. I think one more day and then it's going to get warm. Really warm. Beginning odometer reading. 43, 406.0. 43, 406.0. And we're off on this beautiful December 2nd day. Second day of the Polar Bear Challenge. And I had someone ask me about these handlebar muffs that I got. They used to belong to Lori Jennifer. And uh, I forget the reason why she got something different or they didn't fit her bike right or something. She ended up giving them to me. Um, she said I gave her some money for them. I thought she just gave them to me, but um, it's a combination. She's also other gear that she had that she couldn't use for whatever reason. She's uh, either given to me or uh, I bought it off her for a real cheap price. So not really positive, but uh, yeah, they're, uh, as far as I know, they're just, uh, well, let's see, do they have a brand name here? Parts Unlimited, so I think they're just a generic brand that uh, companies put their name on, but they're very good mitts, and they do the job. Um, as far as finding them, they're not that difficult to find. If you go on Amazon and just type in motorcycle handlebar mitts, Actually, believe it or not, you'll even get better results if you type either ATV handlebar mitts or uh, uh, snowmobile handlebar mitts. And you get a little bit more variety of sizes and shapes and stuff like that because uh, these that I have right here, they fit this bike really well. But I think for uh, larger motorcycles, they probably wouldn't fit just as good. They're for like a small to a medium sized motorcycle. I would say if you uh, don't see something that really seems like it would work, use uh, ATV handlebar mitts or snowmobile handlebar mitts. And as a matter of fact, that's a good snowmobile items is a good search to do if you want to find different things like what kind of clothes to wear when you're riding your motorcycle in the winter time because it's just not a thing that the majority of motorcyclists do. Whereas snowmobile riders are basically doing the same thing what we're doing right now so a lot more selection of gear for them and a lot more uh, variety of sizes and types so I think there would be nothing wrong if you could locate the right kind of snowmobile suit to use in that case it would work out really well and for me now some people argue every year about heated grips and heated vests and all that kind of stuff and uh I say the same thing all the time, if it's going to, if not having it's going to keep you from being a part of our Polar Bear Challenge, by all, by all means get it, install it, use it, but I really feel myself, I've been doing it year after year after year, and I think I'm getting a little bit better at doing it with no electrical or heated accessories, and I'm not saying I would never ever do it in any case, um, I think a good case could be made for it if I didn't have anything but a motorcycle to use in the winter time and I was just forced to always use a motorcycle no matter what the schedule was. I think I may have to uh, drop back and rely on uh, some things like heated handlebar grips and heated vest and stuff like that because then it would be my normal transportation whereas, you know, it's just a backup transportation right now. So, And the same thing with windshield. No criticism for people that do use windshields but I think it's a challenge to uh, do it without using a windshield. I think the only reason I would possibly get a windshield myself would be just to uh, improve the sound quality if I needed to because I've seen with some of the new windshield designs and some of the guys that have done moto vlogging with them, um, they basically just have their mic out in the open and it sounds fantastic. There's no wind noise, no buffeting, no nothing and obviously with no windshield you can't do that. So 
to have the effect of a better quality video. I could actually see myself doing it sometime in the future if need be, but for now I just don't see the need to spend the money. And may never, but we'll see. So anyway, I am pulling in at work now. I will give the ending mileage and hopefully they have space in the heated garage for my motorcycle. So I can put it in there and keep it all nice and warm. And we will say this ride is drawn to a conclusion. Ending mileage, 43407.7. 43407.7.